This must be an enormously satisfying set of results for you. Really, just one thing missing, and that's perhaps the dividend. When might investors expect to see a dividend return? Well, hi, Paul. Thank you for inviting me. Hi, Sherry. Look, any way you look at it, this was a record quarter for the company. We are in the strongest position now than we have been in many years. Our results came well ahead of expectations, uh, with outstanding growth and very strong increase in profitability and free cash flow. Net sales were up 47 percent, the highest quarterly growth rate on record going back more than 25 years, driven by very strong consumer demand for our products. This was, you know, for the third, uh, uh, third uh, consecutive uh, uh, quarter, we had double-digit sales increase, grew uh, ahead of the industry, and gained market share globally. So what you are seeing is the success of our multi-year transformation strategy which we believe puts us in an excellent position to continue to improve profitability and accelerate growth. We could not be more excited, uh, more confident about uh, our trajectory and the future outlook of the company. Okay, but uh, timing on the dividend, are you prepared to offer one? Well, uh, you know, the answer is uh, this is too early to discuss that. Uh, we're still in the phase of reducing our debt improving our leverage ratio, making our way towards uh, investment grade rating, and with our performance now, that where we continue to see so much uh, improvement in profitability, uh, we just had the 11th consecutive uh, quarter of improving gross margin with free cash flow on a trailing 12-month basis, coming four times better than we were this time a year ago. Uh, we're making progress on our, on our balance sheet and reducing our leverage ratio, but too early to talk about dividend. Okay, well, uh, society and consumers are continuing to change as we see vaccine rollouts, uh, people slowly emerging from COVID hibernation, schools perhaps returning soon. How do these factors affect your outlook going forward? Well, we, we uh, uh, are seeing strong demand continuing in the second quarter, uh, including Easter week, and we are planning for another good holiday season. Uh, we believe we are well positioned to gain momentum for the full year and expect to uh, grow our market share. Uh, the toy industry as a whole continue to grow its resilience, uh, its appeal for consumers. Parent continue, parents continue to, to prioritize spend on their children for obvious reasons. And we believe the toy industry as a whole is well positioned to, uh, to grow um, uh, long term. So, Inon, despite all of the optimism, you still sound a little bit cautious given that you're not giving us an outlook for dividends as of yet. You've had really remarkable success on those cost-cutting measures as well. So at what sort of operating margin level will you feel comfortable long term? Well, we're very uh, excited, as you can hear and see from our results in our performance. We, given our performance and the momentum in the business, we have raised our guidance for the year both for sales and for EBITDA. Uh, the guidance that we provided was to uh, grow net sales by 6 to 8% in constant currency for the year, and we increase our EBITDA target by 11 to 15% for the year. So great performance, very promising outlook, but too early to talk about dividends. <laughs> okay, so let's talk a little bit about perhaps some of the challenges that you could see ahead. Do you expect um, inflationary pressures to affect you at all? We have already seen some input costs going up, freight costs going up. Yes, we are seeing uh, some inflationary pressure uh, in ocean freight and uh, in resin, uh, cost of materials. Uh, but this is factored uh, into our long-term planning. Uh, and with that, uh, even with inflation, we are still projecting growth uh, for the year. This would be uh, uh, continuing with our momentum and, and our goals to continue to accelerate our growth and improve profitability. The, the first quarter of 21 was the third consecutive quarter of seeing double-digit growth in, in, in our top line. So there is a consistent uh, and continuing momentum in our business, and we believe that we'll be able to maintain uh, our momentum this year, even with inflation. I think lots of people are asking about some content, uh, wh whether it's a Barbie movie, some Mattel movie coming up. Can you give us an update on that marriage between uh, production content and toys? Yes, we own one of the strongest catalogs for children and family entertainment franchises in the world. We just recently announced another project from the House of Mattel Films. This is Rock'em Sock'em Robot with Vin Diesel. 
and universal. It's going to be an action movie, a uh, very exciting project. We have, as I said, this is number 12 uh, in the list with some uh, great uh, content, great talent, some of the biggest talent of our generation uh, that we partner with. We're seeing that our brands becoming a magnet for talent to join and participate uh, with these projects. And we're seeing a lot of momentum for these films. Uh, th we're now in the development phase, so we have not been impacted by the delay in production or release schedule this year. These projects are part of our mid to long term strategy, but we're making real tangible progress on these projects and um, expect to share more uh, with you as time um, uh, goes on. Now, we understand that uh, Mattel is also looking at monetizing some of its brands through uh, NFTs, non-fungible tokens. They're the, the latest new thing. What's the progress there? Yes, uh, given the fact that we own uh, our brands, we own our franchises, we have an opportunity to commercialize them uh, in different ways and find consumers wherever they are. And just in the same way that we're approaching film or television or video games, online games, this NFT is another area where we see um, opportunity for our brands, especially considering the, uh, the heritage value, the built-in fan base of these incredible iconic brands that we have so many of. Uh, we are in a very good position to find ways to monetize them also in the NFT space.